For those of you who are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell symbol to get notified of my new video uploads. I had to take out my CBR 1000 double R. I told you I want to add another bike to the garage. This would, it would be a fifth bike. I don't know, I may sell the Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory. But I'm thinking about adding, I want something crazy and different, man. You know, something that not too many people have. And a lot of you guys recommended the Triumph, the new 2020 Triumph Rocket 3. That comes in two versions. The R version and the GT version. Now I told you in some past videos, uh, my thoughts on the looks of that bike. Why I wasn't too pleased of the looks on the bike. But I will tell you guys, I think you guys have convinced me to possibly get that bike. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this bike and why I may consider getting this bike. And I'm thinking about putting a deposit on it on Monday. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Got my airbag vest on here to help keep me safe. I'm plugging it in right now to the tether. For those of you guys who want to get this airbag vest to help keep you safe out here, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video along with links to get my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with mirror shield my leather pants boots all my dual sport gear all my other gear i include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear oh yeah look, look, look. yeah <laughs> Woo! oh baby this bike is still sick in 2019 baby you don't need all these high-tech bikes and all this extra horsepower because on the street you don't even use all the extra horsepower. You want that 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 mid-range like this bike has, baby. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> I love it, baby. Oh, I love it. But I tell you, you know, I tell you for you motorcycle enthusiasts out there guys, you gotta have all the different types of motorcycles from different fields to keep it fresh and exciting and interesting. As you guys know, I have the uh you know I got the Priya Tuono, the CBR. Of course, I got my uh, 2019 YZ450 FX Supermoto that I converted, street legal. Uh, of course, my awesome little WR250R that is ultra reliable and you can beat the heck out of it. It's built like a tank. And uh, you can do a little bit of everything on that bike. But you know what, man? I'm missing a cruiser. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there think that cruisers are for old people you think that when you get old that's when you get on a cruiser but I tell you out here in Ohio most of the people here in Ohio young and old have cruisers and there's a beauty to cruising but I'll tell you I like power on my cruiser though I don't want no little weak cruiser like that Harley Davidson breakout that I rode in 2015 and off the line ah oh, shit that thing was too weak, man. I like, if I get a, a cruiser, I want so I want a lot of torque. I don't care about top end power. I want torque down low, baby. And that new Triumph Rocket 3 for 2020 that's coming out, it's got all kinds of torque, baby. And uh, it, to me, it doesn't look that good because it has them great big donut tires. It's got a, on the front. It's got a 150, 80, 17 tire and on the back uh, uh, a 240 50 17 uh, tire and they look like donuts on the bike man that's I don't really care for that look 
and uh, I don't like those dual round headlights. I hate the headlights on most Triumphs, man. If it had a different headlight, oh man, it'd be so much better. But you know what? Once you throw a leg over a bike, none of that stuff matters. All that matters is the riding experience. And what, from what I hear, the triple cylinder that's on the old Rocket 3 was absolutely awesome. And this new one's even more powerful. Oh, power, baby. Like power. It's got a 2458cc triple cylinder with insane power. 165 horsepower available at 4,000 RPM and 163 pounds feet of torque available at 4,000 RPM. Now I know some of you guys are saying the old Rocket 3 actually had a bit more torque down low available as low as 2,000 RPM. So some people are complaining about that, but I tell you, this new 2020 Rocket 3 has still, that's a ton of torque, man. <laughs> Just get a little bit more on that throttle to feel that torque, baby. But what's really amazing with that bike it's adjustable man <laughs> i think it's a it's got first of all it's got mid foot controls which i think is awesome because most of the cruisers out there have the feet for controls like the x diablo which that was one of the big reasons why i got rid of the bike because i didn't want to pay a fortune to, to put on mid controls which i know the new diablo 1260 has the mid controls and also is chain driven the x diablo's belt driven i don't mind the belt drive as long as it has a proper uh you know belt guard the new rocket 3 is shaft driven so no dealing with the extra maintenance of a chain or belt replacement but what i love about this uh this new rocket 3 is that the pegs are adjustable you can drop them down uh, 0.6 of an inch and on the gt version by the way there's two versions there's the r version and the gt version the gt version the, the R version is basically the sporty version. It's not, uh, and the GT version is a touring uh, and much more comfortable. Not, I wouldn't say much more, but it's it's more comfortable because the R version has sporty handlebars, more upright. So you're bent just slightly over in a more sporty position, but not as bad as my Priya Tuono. But the GT version, the bars are more back and the seat is roomier too. And it has a bigger windscreen and the pegs on the GT version are actually more adjustable. You can adjust them backward and forward. So you can adjust it to be a little bit more sportier, but yet you still have a comfort. I would personally, I would go with the R version because not only is it it's cheaper, first off, I talked to the Triumph dealer. He said it's probably going to be about 22,000 for the R version and the GT version will be sitting at anywhere from 20, 26. 24, 26, or up to 29,000. It's somewhere between 22 and 29,000. Obviously, the R version is going to be cheaper. For me, I don't want to. I'm not at the level at that stage in my life where I need bars all the way back and a big old roomy seat. And also, the GT version sits a one inch lower too. And from what he told me, the Triumph sales guy, he told me that this new Rocket 3 actually has more cornering lean angle, so that way you're not scraping pegs. Then actually the X Diablo, which I didn't have any problems with scraping pegs on the X Diablo because we don't really have twisties here, but the twisties we do have, I've never scraped the peg on that bike. But he's saying that this new Rocket 3 is actually even better than the X Diablo. Basically, they, they created this Rocket 3 to be in direct competition with the uh, Diablo and X Diablo from Ducati. The only issue that I see, the only thing I see that's a drawback with the Rocket 3 is not only does it, in my opinion, it looks better somewhat than the X Diablo, except for the donut wheels and the headlights, uh, but the Rocket 3 is like freaking uh, 140 pounds heavier. Yeah, it's got more torque. You know, it's got like 70 uh, pounds feet of torque more, but it's carrying 140 more pounds of weight. But I'm still, you're still gonna feel that torque though. So that's what interests me. And this bike has all the high-end stuff the X Diablo has. It's got the Brembo style Lima uh, brakes, you know, double, dual 320 millimeter front disc on the front and a single on the, on the rear. Uh, the Brembo's brakes, that, I'll tell you, the M50s, which were absolutely amazing on the X Diablo. Look at this. Stops on a dime, boy. Like the style limos are even better from what I hear. Uh, it has all the electronics, uh, rider aids that the uh, X Diablo has. It's got uh, 
uh, it has cornering ABS, uh, cornering traction control. It's got four rider modes. One of them is, is uh, programmable, uh, where you can customize it. It's got an awesome TFT display that uh, you can actually customize it uh, to your liking. You know, change things up on it. Uh, you know, different stats that you want to see on there. Oh man. And it even has some, some extras that you can purchase. Actually, it has a GoPro Hero control. I don't know what that's about yet. Have to look into that. And also, you can add clutchless shifting, which I think it should come with it for that price you're paying. But that's okay. It's not a big deal to me, man. Like I told you guys, I have clutches up and down shifting on my Priya. And I have standard shifting on the CBR. And I could care less about the clutches up and down shifting here on the street. Maybe on the track, obviously. It's worth it, but I wouldn't pay the extra money for the clutch and slip. I could care less. I think I might put a deposit on it. He, they're taking deposits now, 500 bucks, which is refundable up to the point of where they'll actually order the bike, which I think is in October. But you need to put your deposit in now, they said, because, you know, obviously when the ordering window ends, that's it. You know, you're not going to be able to get in. They're going to be sold out. Uh, a lot of people really hyped up about the bike, which I can fully understand. I think it looks much better than the old Rocket 3. The old Rocket 3 looked ugly to me. Like I told you, I'm not a big uh, Triumph fan. I, I don't like the looks of their bikes. And uh, actually, the Triumph Rocket 3 actually looks similar to the X Diablo. If you look at the, the single side swing arm in the back, the, the kind of the look, the flow of it, it kind of, it looks very, very similar, but it looks beefier. Obviously, the bigger, thick wheels, tires, and uh, the headlights. A ton more torque, but a ton more weight. So, I don't know. I would love to see a review on it. Uh, they did release some limited edition models. They sold out, I heard. He told me that store got three or four of them, and they sold out immediately for like 29000 I want to know if you're going to feel that stomping torque when you hit that... That throttle, you can... Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, shit! Ah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys! Man, I'll tell you guys, I really missed that X Diablo. I actually had contemplated on buying another one, but in white. But I said, you know what? I can't do it now because that our local Ducati dealership, Northern Ohio Ducati, closed up man without telling anybody now we don't have any ducati dealer here in northeast ohio so tell me guys what are your thoughts on this 2020 triumph rocket 3 should i get this bike yes it's a first year bike i told you i don't recommend getting first year bikes as you see with the new bmw s1000 double r they've had some recalls the ducati v4 when that came out it had problems Almost every bike, even the CBR 1000 R, when they redesigned it back in 2008, it had some oil burning issues that they sorted out. It took a couple of years to sort that out. So, first year bikes are usually have problems most of the time. Uh, so, I don't know, man. I may try it. I don't know if I want to deal with the recall work and all that crap. But leave a comment below, guys, and let's talk about it. Uh, $22,000. I don't know, it's a premium cruiser though, with a lot of cojones. Don't forget to subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel. Deuces. Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.